Alright, listen, you fuckers. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. What's that mean? I'm like evil today. It's 12 11. I'm starving and I'm like evil. So I'm gonna cook some stuff. This is a small daikon radish. Um, it's all limp and shriveled, so I'm gonna use it because it's about to go. I'm gonna make a soup because I'm in the mood to slurp something spicy. When you're in a bad mood, stressed out, or just acting weird, sometimes soup, real spicy soup. Get your mind off of it. And this is like a version of kimchi jiggy, but not quite kimchi jiggy. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to do I'm just going to see where this soup takes me on its own, you know? So, you know, bear with me here. I'm saving all these peels because um, I use the bottom ends of vegetables and peels for soup stock, which I'll make probably tomorrow. So I'm going to do the daikon radish with onion first. And I think I might do broccoli. I have this, uh, I'm sorry, am I screaming? I'm kind of screaming. This head of broccoli is about to go bad, but I kind of wanted to make nuggets with it, so I don't know. I don't know, people. Are you ever just like cranky and you don't know why? I feel like that's my day today. And I did everything, I even took a nap. I ate some peanut butter, I thought that would help. I think sometimes we just get cranky and we don't really know why, you know? All right, we have all these vegetables we're gonna use. First things first, I'm gonna put some grapeseed oil. And I don't know if this is true, but I feel like grapeseed oil is a little bit less fattening than sesame oil. I don't know if that's true. It might not be true. Um, but it makes me feel good. So I'm doing a tablespoon, uh, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of that. And I have all these bags of stuff. I don't even know what these greens are. I forget. I might use those. But I'm going to start with um, this daikon radish I chopped up already and this half of onion. Let's just start there. I'm going to make two servings. Um, here's the onions. Half an onion. And that's like a very small daikon radish. So it's more probably like a fourth of a big one. So these are oyster mushrooms. They're almost bad, but they're not. I caught them right before. I'm going to rinse them. So I just rinsed off these mushrooms. So, we are just going to rough chop these. I wouldn't normally use these in a soup. Actually, these are more like pad thai stir fry because they're so meaty. But since they're almost bad, we've got to use them up. And um, that's okay because I do love mushrooms. So, we're just going to do that and just make sure you don't get any big chunks. I think that they're too hard to grab in a soup if they're too chunky. So I just kind of, so that's maybe two cups of mushrooms. So a cup per serving. Um, yes, so we're just gonna saute the mushrooms, radish, and onion down to when they um, are pretty cooked. I like to do it on high. I'm just not a super patient person. Um, I am going to do a teaspoon of garlic powder and some black cracked pepper. And that should be good. Okay, so now I have to pick what greens I'm going to use. I have zucchini, but I kind of wanted to save it. I have broccoli, but I kind of wanted to save it for this weekend too. It's like I don't want to use anything. And then I have these weird greens that I have no idea what they are. Maybe let's use these weird greens. I hope that they're good. Smelling... They're peppery. Let's use these. All right, so I'm just going to grab a big handful. I'm gonna do two handfuls. Did you guys know if any Asian person out there knows what these greens are called? That'd be super helpful. Um, I'm not being racist, I'm sorry. If you are any race and know what these greens are, please let us know, because I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna do two handfuls of these. Just rinse those off. Should I do three handfuls? I feel like this is enough for now. We can add more later if we need. Let's see. Three cloves of garlic, because I'm crazy. I love garlic. We're also going to use the rest of this lemon and these hot peppers. I have them left over. 
I'm just adding some more water into the pan to deglaze it. These, this, these uh, mushrooms and the radish and the um, and the onion are almost done here. And these scallions are kind of limp on the top, so I'm gonna use those for broth. Save these bottoms too. These are good also for broth. And then we're just gonna rinse these off. These are obviously scallions if you didn't know. Now you know. And we're just gonna chop the scallions and garlic. I'm also going to take the ends of these peppers off. Put those in there. I feel like, I hope these aren't too spicy, but. I mean, one's a chili, the other one I know is pretty spicy. So if you wanna see here, just chopping this whatever pepper, I don't even know what this is. So I basically shop at this Asian store and I'm not a very good Asian. I don't even know what the store is and like I don't know what half the vegetables are, which is fun, but then the downside is that half the time I'm eating stuff and I like don't know what it is, but it's fun, I like it. I mean, maybe that's not great, but I like it, I think it's fun. Um, next, we're gonna make the broth. Um, since we have our greens ready, these are our, um, some of our, I use a lot of scallions, some of our, um, uh, what's it called, garnish. So the peppers right there, mixed in with the tops of these green onions. The white parts of the green onions, I'm gonna put in now as an extra flavor bonus. And the garlic I'm gonna put in now. I'm gonna chop this garlic up. I get weird when there's stuff on my board. Like, I don't like, if I had it my way, I would have a clean board every time I, I switched vegetables. And I guess I could do that, I'm too lazy to. Um, I personally like fresh garlic. I would never buy that jarred garlic with that like olive oil stuff. I mean, I'd make it myself. I think that's fine to make it yourself. I think um, buying it like that, I just feel like changes the flavor. It just doesn't taste the same to me. It tastes like a fake phony garlic. I almost rather just have garlic powder at that point. I do not like that fakey um, garlic that's been from a store. Like that garlic is something that is best cut fresh. If you can't cut it fresh, then at least do it yourself at home in your own olive oil. I don't think that's that hard. Like your own olive oil and the, what I'm throwing away is I don't cut those ends off of the garlic until after I chop them and it's easy to see I think it just is easier kind of they sort themselves out all right so I'm gonna take that this is about two to three tablespoons of garlic I again like I said before I love garlic I use it a lot um, you probably wouldn't use like a normal person when using much garlic basically. This one slipper of mine keeps falling off and it makes me feel like Cinderella. It's so lame. All right, I'm gonna clean my board off here. Okay, all right. All right, so I am going to put in these mung bean noodles. Any noodles will do. Um, I like these mung bean noodles because they're very low in calories. You can get them at any, at your, any of your Asian marks. They're 160 calories for this whole bundle. They're actually a little under. And I'm just going to, um, Boil those for about four minutes, just about four minutes, and then cold shock drain them, okay? Next, I am going to make the broth. I keep saying that I haven't done it. I have a bunch of stuff going into this broth, I'm making quite an interesting broth. So first, miso paste. This is my salt element. I do not use salt in soups anymore when I make Asian soups. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon because it's two servings. You don't want to eat too much. You don't want to do it overboard. You know, you don't want to saltify everything too much. Then I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of gochujang. And I'm just gonna stir that in and let it coat over the vegetables. Actually, you wanna come, come on. Okay, so these are starting to smell very fragrant and delicious. And I'm just going to basically coat the gojujan and the miso paste. Okay. 
You have to like coating the vegetables. This is what happens when you cook on high. You can blaze a lot. So you just kind of caress that in, got all the good bits off the pan, and then give it a nice smell. Mmm, very good. Okay. okay. So next, I put the goju john and the miso paste in. Next is some choo choo karu um, chili flakes. Don't use Italian chili flakes. I just did one pinch, so like a teaspoon. Um, I don't know how spicy those peppers are, so I'm not sure yet. Next is bean sprouts. These are about to go bad, so I'm actually going to use the whole bag. Okay, next is some chopped chive. I'm going to add about a handful, which is about a tablespoon for me. Long beans are done. What you're going to do is rinse them in cold water. You shock them with the cold water and then whatever bowl you're going to be eating out of, which for me is going to be this bowl, you want to dump them in there and now you have them ready to go. Okay, cool. So that now we're ready for the broth, like in the sense that we're going to put some water in here. So what we're going to do is put about four cups of water in. Basically, I added about a half a tablespoon, tablespoon of this. I'm also going to add some mushroom bouillon. Mushroom bouillon looks like little pellets. Like that. And add two tablespoons of that. And then we're gonna add a half of a lime. Fork in, twist, try and catch the pizza or piatas, piatas? I don't know, whatever. So some lime juice. What I like to do is I like to inside out my citrus and run my fingers over to get the extra juice out. It's only a couple little squirts, but I think it makes a difference. And if it doesn't, it makes me feel good. Um, I see some seeds in here already, so I'm just gonna stab through the center. So if you take your fork and stab through the center of it, it will take the pits out. Yep. All right, so we have our citrus, our salty. Now we need a little sweet and sour element. I, I go back and forth. Sometimes I want to use coconut sugar. Sometimes I want to use maple syrup. Today I want to use agave. So I'm just going to do a half a tablespoon of that. You can leave out sweetness if you don't really care for the, the balance of it. I think it makes a difference. Uh, the sour was the lime and the lemon. Now some uh, white wine vinegar. I mean, sorry, it's rice vinegar. And that's about a tablespoon or so. I'm in the mood for a little bit of like sweet uh, sourness. And next is we are going to taste it. I'm gonna give it like five minutes and we're gonna taste it. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to add the tofu. God, this tofu is watery. I have a soft log here and a firm. I think I'm feeling soft today, so I'm just gonna crumble it in. This is a, like a fourth of a block. All right, this is starting to smell like unbelievably good. It really is. Do you guys wanna take a look? This is starting to look and smell unbelievable, guys. So I'm just gonna take a little taste test here. Holy shit, that's good. Oh, it's spicy. I don't even need those peppers. I can't put those peppers in. It's already spicy enough. Woo! How's it so spicy? It's so good. Wow, this is good. I don't need the vegetable bouillon either. All right, let's, um, we're going to add in our greens of this mystery sort that we don't know what it is. We're going to let this simmer on medium for another like five minutes or so. Just simmer down there. The flavors are perfect. Normally, I would let this simmer longer, but the flavors are so good, I don't think it has to. So, just gonna let it do its thing. Does it need more greens, do you think? I 
I don't know. Let's put a bunch of herbs in it instead. I like that it's not too green, actually. All right. Come on, incorporate. I feel like the greens are clumping together. It always happens to me. Like, yeah. I need to chop my greens better so they separate. This is the final product. Oh, amazing. So we're just going to ladle this into our bowl. See our mung bean noodles are right there. So we're just gonna basically ladle this. Oh, it looks so good. This is kind of like a stew soup. It's not quite a soup. And it's not quite a stew. So we'll call it a stoop like Rachel Ray. You know, I used to be obsessed with Rachel Ray when I was younger. Did you guys all used to be obsessed with her too? I loved her. I loved her EVOO and all her little inquiries. I feel like all of the tofu's in my bowl and there's none for the next half. There we go. All right, I think that this should be good. Make sure there's even amounts. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more turn up. Yeah, like a little bit more veg. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna top this with our garnish. So we're gonna take almost all of this, because we are gonna put some for the other serving, remember? There we go. And we're gonna take our chilies and put some on there too. I'm gonna put the rest of it and just dump it in the pan for later. It's fine if it mixes in, no big deal. But there is our soup. That is our mushroom or oyster mushroom and daikon radish noodle soup with a tom yum base dressing. I mean dressing broth. Our noodle soup. This is going to be amazing. I'm excited. Here comes the dogs. Mmm. Those greens are good. They're like, um, I'm not sure if it's a Tom Yum soup that's doing it or the greens, but it's kind of like, um, it's like peppery. You know what I mean? It has like a pepperiness to it. Oh. Oh, shit. I'm so happy. Mm. This is so good. Let's just try a little bit of the broth. Oh, I got some oyster mushroom on there. I love putting bean sprouts into my soup broth. It bulks it up, gives it a little crunch. It was very healthy. Mmm. This broth is off the chain. 
It almost makes me question if this is healthy. There must be too much sodium in it. This is so good. Oh, I don't need that chili. It's it's spicy. Oh my god, that soft tofu. It's like an egg in there. Guys, make this soup. I know I made it difficult with the greens. Use spinach or arugula. Use watercress. Um, use any kind of greens, honestly. But I would go to your Asian Mart, though, and look for those greens. They are good. Whatever the hell they are. I will hopefully figure out what they are. Um, and I highly suggest using the mung bean noodles. They're, they're great and they're low calorie. <coughs> Chili pepper. This might be the best soup I've ever made in my entire life. <clears throat> I'm not just saying that. Also, the addition of all those big chunk of herbs is worth it. <clears throat> mm. <coughs> it gives it a, a brightness. I love this. Mm. I'm trying to be polite and not leave my chopsticks in the bowl. Mm. This is like the best ever. Even the onions, like I like them chopped roughly and thicker because you can grab them with your chopsticks. And then the mushrooms add a hint of meatiness in there. I do think you should separate your greens before you add them. I think bunching them together makes them clump a little bit. Mm. This might be the best soup I've ever made. It's just, I mean, like, look at this. It's just so, <clears throat> you can taste that it's healthy but it also tastes so flavorful. So it has like a very, I think a very robust, spicy, sodium, like it still tastes like sodium, but it's like, it's salty, but it's a miso salt. Now, if you're trying to cut back on sodium, you can't have the miso, you place the miso, a little bit of nutritional yeast and a dash of low, like tamar, like um, tamari or something. Or even some Worcestershire, something that's lower. Um, but a little bit of miso is also fine too. I don't think anyone uses the broth of this flavorful. This is a super flavorful broth. Like I would serve this to like, I would serve this to like Anthony Bourdain. I mean, not anymore, unfortunately. But like, you know, I would serve this to someone that's up there because the broth is like an explosion. Mm. I think what makes it is the lemon and the lime. It adds like a, a very citrus note to all the different flavors. This is like the best broth I've ever made. I don't know if I needed the mushroom bouillon. That might have been a frivolous add. So my dad was very strict on table manners growing up. So every time I accidentally put my elbows on the table, I feel like he's looking at me. And he might be, he might be watching. <laughs> he legit he might be looking at me. <coughs> so I might not be wrong. So my nose starts to run when somebody's very spicy. Oh, this isn't too spicy. It's on the edge. It could go over easily. Mm. I think also cooking it, the gojujan and the miso, like like sauteing it, I think that kind of brought out the flavors. I don't know, maybe it's just the tom yum. So I don't know what makes this broth so good, but this is so yummy.
And for that Tom Yum soup paste, you can get that in the Asian Mart. Just look for a vegan Tom Yum soup base. If they don't have any vegan, then oh well. I'm really enjoying this. It's Thursday. I feel like nobody wants to work today. And if you... Excuse me, I'm going to replace my mic while I talk. If you... um or in America and celebrate the holidays, you'll understand what I'm saying. It's Thursday. I mean, we had, what, Christmas on Mon or, um, when was New Year's? A couple days ago. It was just very confusing because New Year's and Christmas were like, it was like what day of the week it is. And then now New Year's is finally over, but the weekend's coming. So I think everyone's just a little bit not in the mood to work today. It feels like it's the weekend, but it's not. So I think everyone's looking forward to this weekend, like big time. <clears throat> I wonder if it's going to be busy in the restaurants and stores and like retail stuff this weekend. Hmm. I don't know. I highly suggest you get wooden chopsticks. And a soup spoon like this or a wooden one. It makes everything taste so much better. I couldn't enjoy this as much with a fork and a silver spoon. I do think this needs white rice, but I didn't feel like making it. This is unbelievable. That daikon radish just, I mean, I don't know. Everyone's different about the daikon. I get addicted to it. I, I used to not really like it. Now I love it. I think it's because I was eating it raw. It's kind of spicy raw in a weird way. I love how I eat like chili peppers, but I think a daikon radish is spicy. I don't know. It's a different kind of spice. I've researched it. There's a certain chemical where it's not spicy like a capsicum or pepper. It like makes you feel like it's spicy, but it's not. It's it's a whole thing. If you Google like what makes a daikon radish spicy, it's interesting. That's why um daikon radish has so many benefits. There's a lot of health benefits. There's a lot of things in it that you like don't get from other things. A daikon radish. That's why a lot of vegans feel better versus, um, you know, omnivores and carnivores. It's not that they're not eating healthy. They might be, but when you replace all that meat with all these veggies and lentils and legumes and healthy starches, you're putting all these other vitamins you wouldn't have otherwise gotten or eaten if you're on a meat diet. So it's not just cutting out meat. It's also the add-on to all these fruits and vegetables and um, different products you wouldn't have eaten. And there's a big reason why vegans feel so good all the time. I don't think it's just the absence of meat, I'm saying. I think that that has a lot to do with it, but I think it's the absence of meat plus the add-on of all the fruits and veggies. It's funny because whenever anyone gets smart with me, I was like, oh, I would never be vegan, blah, blah, blah. Part of me on the inside is like, you're not hurting anyone but yourself in the sense of like, not even like, you might live a long life and like be healthy, whatever, but not even just that. Like, in the sense, I'm like, you would feel better, be more energized and look hotter. So like, you, it, saying to me, like, I'm not going vegan, ha, huh, is almost like, I'm not going to look hotter and feel better, ha. Huh? Like, it's, it feels like I'm almost like, 
I don't know if you know know what being vegan does to you, but um, okay, if you want to look uglier and feel worse, like <laughs> I think that's what it sounds like to me. Mm. Mm. <sighs> so. I want to talk about the New Year, the New Year's resolution thing. I feel like a lot of people have a lot of hater, but people are making resolutions, not keeping them. I think that's better than not making any. Make something. So what you make, you keep one out of ten. It's better than making no resolutions and keeping zero out of none, right? I say make the resolution. Even if you fail, at least you tried. That's exactly why I'd rather marry a man that's ambitious than rich any day. Because you're trying. A man that's just rich and not ambitious, like, you just got lucky. I mean, there's something wrong with that, but I think ambition is beautiful. Someone who wants to do something, you know? I also feel bad for people who naturally aren't ambitious. Like, is that, I feel like that's a God-given blessing for me. I think I was naturally born being ambitious. I don't know if that's something you can teach someone, you know, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't really want to falter people for that either, but. My eye. My eye. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It happens to me more than I would like to admit. I slurp. Every time I slurp, I feel like I get it in my eye. Ow, it burns. It's spicy soup in my eye. I hope you found that funny because that hurt. At least if it was funny, it would be some kind of benefit to my pain. I'm almost done this. I can do this. I wonder if I could, I could totally win a, a soup competition, I feel like. But then again, I don't know what I'd be up against. There's some like real crazy soup Asians out there. Mm -hmm. I can, and I'm not being racist. I can't see a white person beating an Asian eating soup. I'm sorry, but if a white person beat an Asian person eating soup, then that person's probably an Asian white person in the sense of like they cook sushi and they're like a chef or something because I just don't see that. Mmm. Mmm, chili pepper. Woo! I literally make this all the time. The dogs are barking and nothing. Close my eyes. Because I always have been barking at nothing lately. I don't know why. Those are my dogs. They're my roommate's dogs. In case you just tuned in. It's Aspen in Georgia. I give them love too, but. I give them a lot of love, actually. Clean as a whistle except for those three drops. I wish I had some rice. Whew. Oh, I'm like tired. Whew. I feel like 
finish that in like 15 minutes. <sighs> I'm hot, tired. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm gonna call it the soup sweats. I think that's what happens. I'm gonna play with different angles of the camera. I should have probably done it this way. I feel like you can see a little more into the bowl. <sighs> All right. That was delicious, but I literally think I need to make a bowl of rice. I, I can't. I feel like the soup's just swimming around in there by itself. Like, you need to use the rice to, like, come rescue it and absorb. I have a good imagination, I think. Or I'm insane. I don't know. Maybe both. Um, so... I am going to do some more work on an emailer for Barrow House, which is one of my clients. I'm a restaurant consultant, if you didn't know. And then after, I'm going to hit Passion Avenue and get some new clients. I'm ready. Pumped. Um, so, yeah, I will be back tonight. I'm definitely going to cook something. Because um, the leftovers I have is going to be like a lunch or breakfast tomorrow. Like I have a bunch of leftovers, but I'm like... It's like fragments of meals, a little bit of pad thai, a little bit of mashed potato. Mashed potato and pad thai don't really like cohere together too well. So that was a banging ass soup. I'm very proud of it and I will catch you. Okay guys, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.